Hey, hey, friends. Welcome back to this week's What I Made. Um, I'm Stacy from Stacy Makes. I own a crochet business called Apple Tree Boutique, and I do markets, and I sell at a local antique mall, um, and I design patterns. So welcome. If you are new to this channel, welcome back. If you are a returning subscriber, um, this week we're going to talk about... Um, as always, we're going to talk about what I made this week for market to prep inventory. Um, a little bit about the maybe new things that I tried. We're also going to cover um, some new yarn um, that I got. And we're going to talk about, um, or I'm going to show you a little challenge that me and my daughter did uh, from Old Soul Factory Crochet. Um, Old Soul Factory here on YouTube and she does these markets with me and so she came over we went to uh, the locus local um, craft stores yesterday and um, took my youngest daughter and youngest son as well and we went to every single one of the craft stores looked at the yarn they were bead shopping and things and then we we got back she decided to come over and we she brought some yarn and we decided to see how many turtles that we could just crochet in the evening. It wasn't really a competition. I mean, she kind of said it was, but um, anyway, um, it wasn't really a competition. It was just a, let's take some of our new yarn and let's just sit and chat and, and see how many turtles we can make. So I'll insert some of that footage in this, um, this week's video as well. So let's get into first off, um, what uh this new yarn so um we went to joanne and we found um i don't know how new this burnett baby blanket is but it is a new it's not really called any like you know they have the tie dye ish and the ombres and the dabbled it's not really called anything but burnett blanket but it's just new colorways and it's kind of a a marbled look um if you see it here this is the color ocean waves it's the same size as every other skein, and actually it's really, really soft. Um, every skein that I touched, um, every color, and every skein that I did touch of every color was soft and squishy. Um, highly recommend this. It does not work up, I'll show you later, because I did make some things out of it. Um, it does not work up striped, really, um, or blotchy, or dotty, or anything like that. It's just kind of a marbled look, and it's really pretty. So this is Ocean Waves. Um, this is petal pink. You can see it there on camera. It's really pretty, like corallies and pink colors. Um, this is Mossy Path. Now they had this one and um, this one has blues in it. So you can see the blues in here. There was another, there's two more, the, a green colorway, one called Sea and Sand. And I think the other one is maybe like I'm not sure um, but it this is the one that has the blue in it and um, it's really pretty it would the one that doesn't have blue the one that's more all greens would make really good frogs and turtles and things like that as well but I decided to do the one that has a little bit of green um, this is called Adobe really pretty like deep corals uh, jewel toned purples like the baby sand color is in here um, it's really really pretty like a terracotta color and this purple one is lavender fields um purple's probably my i know i I'm, you're gonna purple's probably my least favorite color really but i know that other people like purple um and this purple is i really like it it's everything from dusty purples to jewel toned purples to it's just it's a really pretty purples and then this is probably my favorite. This is Sunset. This is one of the ones plus the blue one that I used uh, last night to make turtles uh, called Sunset. It's got really pretty golds, um, oranges, some of that jewel toned purple in it. Uh, every once in a while you see a little bit of um, like a pink, like a dusty pink in it. It's really, really pretty. So so that is my uh, Burnett blank, baby blanket haul. I got um, six skeins one of each of these colors like I needed it but you know okay um so I also found this Burnett Maker um it is a cotton nylon blend um it is 
definitely feels like a, um, if you ever made t-shirt yarn out of like Jersey knit material, but it's not open. So like some Jersey knit, you know, people will cut strings of t-shirts and, um, pull it and then it kind of makes it's like, makes like yarn out of it. Um, but this is closed. It's almost, it's a closed, I don't know how to describe it, but it is closed tube. Um, it says weight five bulky on here. Um, I bought it because this is the color, um, lichen, lichen. I never know how to say that, but anyway, I don't know how new this is either. I've just never seen it at my Joann's before. Um, but I have a couple that keychains that I want to make for adults or, um, older kids and, it's really an acrylic yarn pattern and you have to use something really small. I don't want it to be plushy and small. I wanted it to be structured, but I'm not a huge, huge fan of working with acrylic yarns. And so I found this and I thought this would maybe work up and be a good alternative to that. So this is the green. Um, this is soft peach. It is definitely a blushy pink, not really peach at all. Um, this is black. This is saffron this is steel blue and this one's cream so I don't know if I can get them all in one take or not but this is them all together <laughs> okay so we'll see how I feel about that it's a cotton nylon blend and again I think that it's going to be a good alternative to working with um acrylic yarns for things that you want to make that are kind of small but you want some structure kind of like posh gives structure to um something because it's a little bit of a tighter weave and anyway we'll see we'll see how i feel about it so that's my yarn haul so let's talk a little bit about um last night's challenge i won't call it a competition although tara did um and i'm going to insert some footage here let's just kind of talk about what we're going to do so enjoy special guest star Hi, Tara's here. My daughter's here tonight. So we're just going to see um, how much we can crochet this evening. I think we decided just to do turtles, but any kind we want. So mm -hmm. we'll switch between small ones, big ones, just to keep it interesting. So we'll see how many hours we crochet tonight and so how many things we get done. So And I'm going to win. That's all I can say. Win? I'm gonna I didn't win. know this was a competition. <laughs> I don't think it's a competition. I'll get more done. But I'll win. <laughs> we'll check back in later I'll try to keep you up to date on how many I've gotten done as I get them done and then at the end I'll recap everything and um, you can see our pile hopefully it'll be a pile I hope there's a pile of turtles Please, because we need we, a pile yeah we do <laughs> so thank you we'll see ya thank you Okay, update, taking a snack break, eating just a little bit maybe. How are we feeling? Feeling tired, my hands hurt, I'm cramping, <laughs> they're stuck like this permanently. No! <laughs> I need to do some stretches, reset, yeah. get new colors out anyways. We've been crocheting for what, two, a little over two hours. We yep. started at six, it's 8.15, so yep. two hours, 50 minutes, so we'll see what else we get done. I have no idea, what time are you leaving? I have no idea. Okay, <laughs> so we'll see. So well. <laughs> wrapped up our evening it's what 10 30 yes which is late for <laughs> me not her but <laughs> definitely me and so we crocheted for about four hours uh, we took a little lunch or a break for supper so this is what I got done I got a test of the tortoise done so cute. I fred the sea turtle 
and a Tohu the Turtle. So here's my pile. Here they are. So cute. Okay. And then I got a Tulip the Tortoise Done by Meg's Makes Crochet. And then I got two Tofu the Turtles Done in Burnout Yarn. Well, okay. Meg's Makes Crochet too. Yes, by both. All Meg's. Meggie. Okay, so I think I added mine up. I had I had 54 plus 12, $66 is late. $66 worth of inventory, so not bad. So that's what I got here. I think I'm gonna charge about 30 or 35, I can't decide yet for this guy. And then these are gonna be 15 each. So I have about 60 to $65 worth of inventory here as well. So yep. not bad either. Okay, there we all are. They're so cute. Yes, they are. <laughs> did you like me using the new yarn? I did, it's really, really soft. This is like, got a really pretty, I'm gonna talk about it on my video tomorrow, I think, but it's really pretty, so. Cute. Like how we picked the same colors here, but they're we picked different slightly gold. different gold. Without so. even knowing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay, I think that's it for us. I want to catch some sleep, so I can record Bye. my video tomorrow. Not y'all. The recap at the end. I was exhausted. Excuse my. I mean, I've been out all day and uh, walking around and going through every store. We went through the mall and it was just, I was tired and it was later than normal for me. And then I remembered that the time changed here. So I also lost an additional hour of sleep. So that was fun. Uh, we didn't, it, it went kind of as expected since I knew that, it, you know, starting at six o'clock at night, um, there's only so much that you can do in before you go to bed or in, you know, in three or four hours. Um, I, you know, we weren't trying to speed crochet. We were just sitting around crocheting and, and enjoying. So let's start with the smallest stuff first. Um, I made two more baby turtles free pattern on Instagram. I sell these for $8. So these are in my small category and the $16 worth of inventory. I did make a total of four Tofu the Turtles this week. There's all of them. Um, I haven't gotten all the fuzzies off, obviously, but I sell these for 12. This is Parfait Chunky. Um, I sell these for 12, it shows. When we make them out of Burnett, um, like in the video, you saw Tara made two out of Burnett. We sell those for 15, but we sell the Parfait Chunky ones for 12. So this is $48 worth of inventory. I tried a new pattern this week that was free on Instagram. I was super excited about. I applied to be a tester and didn't get to test, but when the pattern was done, I thought I'm either buying it if it's not free or I'm making it if it's free. So this is the gecko pattern. It is so cute by Crochet Collectibles. Uh, again, I haven't removed all the fuzzies, but um, such a cute pattern with little bobbles um, here that you put your little eyes in front of and it's a no-so little legs and he just turned out so cute. This one's highlighter from Parfait Chunky Neon. It's almost like so neon, it's hard to get it on camera. Um, this is Parfait Chunky Pom Pom. Here they are. I think I'm gonna sell the geckos for 15. So just imagine a little basket full of these little creatures. So super cute, really enjoyed this pattern. It's very well written. I didn't have to do anything to it. Okay, um, I made a stingray. I'll put the pattern link obviously in the description for everything that I made. Um, but this was a new pattern that I did buy on, um, on Etsy. And I wanted to kind of make it a realistic color, kind of like Charlotte the Stingray. If you know who Charlotte is um, <laughs> but she's kind of these colors it's kind of browns and a little bit of speckles black anyway um, so this turned out really cute it was really fun though so um, stingray I plan to sell it for 16 um, next up I need another little baby cow from Madeline Mako's baby cow pattern just black and whites this time I sell these for 24 um, last night's challenge, you saw I made another Fred the Sea Turtle from CJ Designs pattern. Um, I oh, The only thing I really modify with this pattern is I start with six, 12 single crochets in the top and I skip round two. I just go straight from 12 single crochets to round three so that it, the, it's not um, coned here. It's more flat on top of his thing. So, And then I also tack the head back. I like the head tacked back like this. So. I made him, and I had been telling you 24 for these, but I, after last night, and I really, um, we were talking and watching TV and stuff, but 
I think I'm gonna have to do 20 I think I'm gonna do 25 for these going forward at least that little extra dollar so um, just to account for I think it's taking just me a little bit longer than I think it was so <clears throat> okay and this is my Tessa the tortoise I made last night as well in the challenge um, little tail so cute this is all from Jade's pattern I don't do anything to modify it um, but He's so cute. I think I'm going to sell. I made one of these last time and I sold it for, um, sorry, I sold it for 32, but it was in the jumbo yarn and it was obviously a lot bigger than this. I think I'm going to do 30 because I did time it last night and it didn't take me as long as I thought. It just took me right at an hour and 15 minutes or so. Um, so I think I'm going to do 30 on this guy. I think I said, so 30... 25 it'd be 55 plus my tofu that I made would be really $67 worth of inventory I made last night okay a new pattern I tried by mom stichetti which I'm in love with this is her snuggle lamb oh my gosh it's so cute um it's got a little bit of a blushy pink little nose I put little sleepy eyes I'm trying to find a few more ways especially with these little animals that kind of lay down like this to make the baby safe <clears throat> and have some options for that this is a, a this is a really really low sew pattern you make all the, the arms slash legs and the tail and all of that sewn into the round this is all one piece and the only thing you sew on are these ears later so it is super low sew um but anyway this is and it's a pretty big size this is burnet blanket and it's just like I mean, it's bigger than the size of a newborn baby, for sure. <laughs> so anyway, it's a super cute, highly recommend. I didn't do anything to modify this pattern at all. Um, and it, it turned out really great. I'll be making more of these, for sure. And more of her animals as she comes out with more. And so then last week, you guys saw my Camille the Sitting Cow pattern from Jen's Crafty Creations. And I just had to take the time this last week to make another one. Um, this pattern is very sewing heavy. It's got lots of pieces, but... I don't mind sewing if the outcome is amazing and in this case it is I don't do anything to modify this pattern either I've been making it just like it is I did last time I made Camille I'll grab her she's right here last time I made Camille this was the one I made a couple weeks ago I used a size 5 hook which worked fine um, and I didn't realize until I was about two arms in on the other one that I was using a half a size of hook bigger um sweet snuggles i do range from a five to a five and a half depending on what i'm making um and i just i grabbed a five and a half apparently this one was a five so this is my blue version of camille the sitting cow and you can tell she is bigger um and she originally i think i said 45 for her but i mean this takes every bit of two hours and plus i mean it's two hours and maybe 20 minutes of time. We'll see. I really think I could price these at 50 or 55, probably, probably 50. And, um, there's a lot of yarn here and a lot of stuffing and good eyes on these guys. My calculations today still say 45, but I'm still thinking on that because, um, I might want to make one more and really, really time each piece and not my distractions of watching TV and really kind of make sure that I'm getting every bit of my time out of it. So that's Camille. She's adorable. Okay. So total, um, this week I made $266 worth of inventory. So, um, anyway, smalls, I made six mediums. I made four large I made three larges and I made one jumbo I'm considering Camila jumbo because she's at least $45 so that's what I was able to make this week guys so um probably a shorter than normal video from me um I also recorded a video about some crochet beginner tips and tricks or um you know common mistakes to try to avoid if you're learning how to do amagurumi so if you want to try to catch that but it is basically just some of the things I've picked up and learned and realized that not everybody knows. It's just 10 tips, tricks, mistakes to try to avoid while making amigurumi this week. So I did two videos this week that came out. So um, I think that's it for this week. Um, we do have a show in four weeks. Is that right? Four, yes, four weeks. Um, and it's just here in our local town. Uh, we live in the path of the solar eclipse. 
um, we are actually in the dead center of it in a total totality zone of like four minutes and seven seconds, which is like some of the longest totality areas. And so we're having a big festival that weekend, um, Saturday and Sunday, and then the actual eclipse on Monday the 8th. Um, so April the 6th is a Saturday. We're going to, it's an outdoor only kind of setup. So we're going to try that for the first time. Um, hopefully the weather is great. It's the Midwest and it's the spring. So you just never know what you're going to get. So, okay. That's all I have for you guys this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. As always, if you did enjoy that and you like this kind of content, like this video for sure. Um, and subscribe to my channel. I'd be greatly appreciate that. Okay. Um, happy crocheting friends and have a great week. Bye.